hi guys uh, i have here an omni led flashlight or an, an emergency light uh, this one is already uh, not charging uh, we gonna replace the battery inside of this thing with this 18650 with uh, a TP4056 charger like this one so now it's currently charging this 2P two parallel uh, 18650 battery see uh, this one is has uh, a 5 volt input yeah this is a 5 volt input and we can open this thing this one is not working even I charge it it will never charge so uh, we try to open this thing And there we go guys uh, it has a 4 volts lead acid battery so now we're gonna go to and this is this board so we need to remove it so this is the board so we need to connect this board to this one and use this 18650 battery lithium battery uh, to replace this uh, lead acid battery or maybe they call it the sealed lead acid battery so now we are gonna go to the computer so I can show you where I will connect this one uh, this one to this one okay we will go now to the computer so I can give you where how to connect this board the uh, TP40656 to this one there we go okay guys uh, I have here the screenshot of the motherboard of the LED flashlight that we take apart to change the, L the lead acid battery to the lithium ion battery and I also have here the TP4056 chargers that we're gonna use to charge our 18650 battery that we're gonna use on the LED flashlight. So for now, we assume that we connected the 18650 battery to the our TP4056 chargers to charge the 18650. So we have this the connection. So we need uh we need a uh, 5 volts input to power up this TP40 4056 charger so I gonna use this board to power this one this charger so this board has an input of 5 volts to this USB micro so now I will look a point on this board to power this uh, TP4056 4056 charger so I traced the board here and I found out this one is the 5 volts input trace we can use or we can use this trace to power the board so now it has a uh, 5 volts positive here and also I trace the negative one is the same of this one this is the negative one and it's trace this to this one so this is 
and the line we connected that connected to the old uh, lead acid battery of the LED flashlight so we can use this line to connect our negative one to the TP4056 chargers to charge our 1816 battery so now we apply uh, 5 volts and it will power out and charge our 1863 battery so we need uh, power we need to connect this 18650 to this board but this is uh, the battery input of the the board and it's also one this is the negative one so we cannot use this line to connect to the Uh, 1860 battery because this line is connected to the 5 volts input of the board of the LED flashlight so it will be, if we put a 5 volts input on this one it will connect this one and output to this one and output to the 18653 that will cause damage to our 18650 that only have a 4.2 volts maximum charge for this 18650 battery. If you reach a 5 volt and out, it will damage or so maybe will cause fire. We gonna not use that thing. So we need not to connect this one so I found out when I trace the board we need to remove uh, 5 volts connecting to the board and outputting 5 volts to this battery output so we need to cut the connection of this board with the 5 volts so I now I'll remove this thing so I, I trace the board here this is the line to the trace of the 5 volts so I remove this thing so for now we remove the line on that thing so now we can this even we put a 5 volts on this one there's no 5 volt output to this battery output to charge the last old uh, lead battery so now we can connect this one to our uh, 1860 battery or we can use an output line on the TP4056 charger it's the same because it just is connected to this one so for the cleaning look I will gonna use this one for the negative one this also is connected to this one, the negative output. Still, this is just connected to this one, so it will never use that thing. So now we will go to the uh, bench table to connect it and follow this diagram to power our uh, to power our uh, LED LED flashlight. So guys, oh, we know where we need to connect the uh, the this TP46 and this 18650 battery to to power our LED flashlight. So now I just only remove this thing, and also we need to remove this. So now you're gonna see this one, so you cannot see in the camera because camera is nothing. I gonna lift this one up so we can put the positive five bolts 
so we can tap the positive pi button here so and also I just only uh, raise this up so now we need to I already remove it <laughs> so uh, we don't need this thing so we need to remove that thing so for now the 5 volts is not connecting to this board already so even we put 5 volts uh, it's not connected to the board already so and yeah, the LED is lighting up so we can tap the uh, uh, wire to power up this board so it has an this the positive input and a negative one so we need some wire okay I have here a mini wire so I can connect this one to this one so to have this first so we will need to connect uh, this one this part so this one is not connected to this one so we need to solder this So now I already connected the negative and the positive one so we can test if this one is charging our lithium battery so I will use this one and see so it's connecting this one and powering the 18650 now so it's charging the 18650 so it's powering the TP4056 charger so the last one is to connect this positive you see in my diagram so we need to connect this one to the output positive of the TP4056 charger so this one is the output positive so we are gonna use the wire that came from that one so we need to we need so now it's been connected so we will gonna test this one and there you go <laughs> And it's got use it in low and high. Low, high, off. Oh. So now this one is already good. So even I use to charge it, we can already charge it here. So it will charge and it will supply the 18650 to charge it and also yes the the it is then the battery is connected also to our motherboard of the led <coughs> flashlight so now we gonna put it back inside of this thing and test it again
now guys this one is already working there you go and also we can charge this one by using the 5 volt input uh, uh, there you go the LED is flashing and also this one now uh, we cannot see the LED LED the TP4 TP4 TP26 charger has a blue LED here it has a blue LED when the battery is full so uh, if the battery is full the 18650 battery is full it will light up this LED but for now <laughs> we cannot notice where is the LED because it is stuck it inside so uh, even we didn't know if it is full charge or not full charge uh, it will automatically stop if we reach the voltage of uh, 18650 to 4.2 volts so um, it's very safe for our uh, 18650 inside even we did not see if the, uh, the see the LED lights up if the battery is already been full okay guys uh, thank you for watching this video this is been a very long <laughs> one so guys thank you for watching and see you for another video thank you